What is this? I said, what is this? Everything you need to know is stated right there in that report. Oh no, I just see your name and a positive pregnancy test. So what's difficult? What's confusing there? Can't you read? Oh, I can read and uh, just that the name of who was responsible is insuring. Did you see it? Uh, hold on, hold on. Is this some type of joke? It's obviously a joke to you. I mean, we had a one-time thing and you think you can just show up at my door and say, Hey, I'm pregnant. Who does that? So what are you insinuating? I am sick. Hey, that... don't even try to deny this pregnancy, okay? Because I know my friend too well and when she met you, she wasn't seeing anyone. So you are 100% responsible for this pregnancy. What I don't understand is why didn't you tell the doctor you wanted to get rid of it when he gave you this test result? How dare you! Don't do that again. Now listen to me. I will not accept this baby. And if you want to keep the baby, be ready to bear full responsibility. So how is that coming? Oh, great. Trust me. I know. Oh, okay. She's coming. Hope she is. Young lady. <laughs> Come on, mommy. I know that you cannot wait to see me. I'm on my way home already. You're on your way. You're... Pamela, I hope this is not one of your lies. Uh, mommy, wait. So you're not calling me a liar, right? Because both of us know that this is not the first time you tell me, I'm on my way, I'm on my way, and you haven't even left where you are. Come on, mommy, look, trust me. This is not one of those times, okay? I just left the airport not too long ago. I'm already on my way home. I hope so, sweetheart. You know, this is your 25th birthday. I want you to spend it with me. Mommy, and who else would I be spending it with if not with you? Um, I would have said boyfriend, but you don't have any. Oh my goodness, this is where I hang up. Mommy, I'm going to talk to you later, okay? Take care, love you. See you soon. Bye. <laughs> All right. All right, darling. She will soon be here. Oh, you really? need to hurry up. Ah, <laughs> Mrs. Johnson, never ceases to amaze me. I'm sure she will love what we have done here for her. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she loves surprises. I know. Especially this kind of surprise, you know, with loved ones, surprise party. She will love it. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. I'm sure. Apparently, she. Wait, hold on. Oh, she's calling. Yeah. Okay. Hey, birthday girl. Hey, bestie. Hi. Yeah, look, listen. I just touched down in Lagos right now. Yes. Okay, look, you know what? Can we do like a little birthday hangout later tonight? Didn't I tell you I was in Port Harcourt? Port Harcourt? What? What are you doing there? Um, something came up. What is this thing? Hello? What happened? I, I don't know. Bad network, what else? Uh, don't worry, she'll come here and see you in Port Harcourt. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I cannot get through to her. What happened? Hello? 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 Ah, my phone has gone off. Shit. Um, driver? Yeah? yeah? Sorry, excuse me, please. Is there a way I can charge my phone? My my phone just died, please. Sorry, I I have a power bank, but the thing is I don't have an iPhone. Oh, that, that's fine. I have one in my box, so you can just quickly, like, you know, 
clear of the road so I can take it from the box, please. Okay, no okay. worries. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. Please open the car. What is this? Wait! This is not my box! What is, God, what is going on? Hey God! Lawrence Okeke? Okay, what the hell is Lawrence Okeke okay, and why do I have his box? God! Madam. Ah, I'm finished. Is there a problem? A big one! Like this box looks exactly like mine but it is not my box! Wait, wait, wait. You mean you exchange your box to someone else? Apparently! Probably. Oh my goodness, what am I going to do now? Wait, so whose box is this now? <sighs> Ooh. Whoa. Wow. What is this? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Uh, this is a man's box. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Airport duty manager. My boarding pass. Wait, let me check something. Alright. Wait, there's a phone number. Please, 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 driver, please. Can I use your phone, please? Okay, okay. Please, Hello, duty manager Skyboard Airline on the line. How may I help you, please? Hello, hello. Yes, hi. Um, good afternoon, please. Um, my name is Pamela Johnson, and I just um got off the flight of um BA two four ninety. I'm on my way home right now, and I just realized that I have the wrong luggage with me, please. How is that possible? I, 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 don't, I don't know. I don't know. Probably there must have been a, a mixed mix up somewhere, and I swapped it with the, with somebody else's, please. Did you do the baggage reconciliation? Yes, I did. Then the miss-up must have happened outside the airport system. I need you to help me contact um, this other person, please, so I can get my luggage back. Please, like, um, my birthday is today and my mom is waiting for me and I have a lot of things to do today. Please help me. Fine. What's the name on the tag? Um, uh, hold on. Lawrence, Lawrence Okeke, Lawrence Okeke. I'm still with you. Hold on. Lawrence. Okay. 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 There was a Lawrence okay, okay that boarded the same flight with you. Oh, really? Oh, thank God. Look, he would definitely be needing his, his luggage as well because I need mine right now. Please, please. Is there a way you can give me his contact, please? This is against the company's policy. But then I'll just forward the number to you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, just send it to me as a text. Thank you. I'm waiting. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Ha! Huh. What did they say? You need to send me the contact so I can contact them. Okay. Oh, it's okay. 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 Zero, eight, one, three, four, five, two. Okay. Hello. Please, please, can I use your phone oh, no to problem. call when it's in the number? Oh. Use the phone. Wait, let me wait for the number to keep. No problem. <clears throat> Hello.
Hello? Hello? Am I on to Mr. Lawrence Okeke? Yes, and uh, you are. You are with my luggage and you're asking me who I am? My name is Pamela Johnson. Uh, wait, wait, hold on. Um, I think there must be some mistake there. I don't have your luggage. Oh, then you must have bought a flight with two boxes because right now I have a luggage here with your name printed on it. Um, wait, wait, hold on. Um... Oh, I see. Um, I have your box here too. How could you even take someone else's luggage that is not yours? What kind of carelessness is that? Hey, 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 please don't insinuate that I stole your box because I didn't do that. And secondly, you have my luggage too. So please don't raise your voice on me. Look, 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 you know what? Listen, I don't have time to exchange words with you. You just need to come back here and get my luggage and then you take yours. And I need mine too. I have very important stuff there. Um, where are you? Um, right now, I'm on Airport Road. If you just drive down, you'll see me. I'm close to a block of flats. You'll see like a grey one, another one that looks like orange peach or something, and then a cream one. By the right. I'm, right. I'm, I'm, I'm packed by the right, so just be here ASAP. Yeah, but I, I would... <sighs> wow, so rude. How did I make a mistake? Madam, calm down. It's just a simple mistake, huh? Ah. This thing's happening. What kind of st stress is this one? You said it's coming, Abby. Yes, it's, it's coming. coming. Yeah, but I think we're good to go. We've done everything right. Yep. Yeah. Everything's perfect. Nice one. We did a good job. <laughs> yes, we did. Uh, you know what? Let me get more food since we're expecting a lot of people. All right. Uh, um, what about um, Pamela? Have you reached again? I, mean, I should dial again, you know? Please. I've been attending to people, so. I mean. Switch off. Should we be worried? No, no, I, maybe she didn't charge her phone. You know how she can be. Oh, um, um, the small chops vendor. Let oh, okay, me, let, okay. Me, let me attend to her. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Hello? Why is her phone switched off? See? Madam, come on, you pay me, let me go. Ah. Please, look, I beg, please, just be patient, okay? He might be stuck in traffic or something, please. That's what you've been saying since I've been here for over an hour. I have things to do now, I want to go. My time is money, madam, please. Ah. How much is everything? I think. If you still had anything, uh, because I don't waste time. It's okay. Everything is there. Please, take. How much is it? It's five. I'll give you everything. The money is there, please. Frustrating! How can I just, 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 just look at? Nah. If I see this man, if he comes in, I will deal with him, man. Eh? Just, just, just look at me. Just, just, just. just. Really? 
a look at me. Just take a good look at me. What's all this now? You just left me here stranded on the road. I don't understand. How can someone take someone else's luggage from the airport without confirming that it's his and then you just drive home with it just like that? I don't understand. The last time I checked, you have my luggage here too. Oh, so that is enough reason why you had to leave me here stranded on the road for over an hour? Oh, wow. I didn't know I was supposed to just magically appear here with your luggage. <laughs> just petty. That is what you are. Look, you know what? Just get me my box, please. Look, you know what? There's no reason for all of this. We both made a mistake. Look, just and... get me my box, please! You know what? I'll just be the bigger person here and apologize. I'm sorry for any inconveniences caused. Please, excuse me, please. Look, if you're really sorry, then you would help me charge my phone. Look, my phone is off and I just need to charge it for a few minutes so I can book a ride, please. Please, it's only for a few minutes, okay? You owe me, remember? It's fine. Um, it's fine, it's okay. Can we put your luggage in the car so you can charge your phone? So the evil wear you out But if you look your well, it will shock you how Love is as in the strangest places In the short time, you've been to many places Oh, yeah, seems so many faces I frown and smile and mellow or wild And I own right or wrong In so many cases, I wait till you find go shokoto You the one pocket of your brown shokoto I now very, very soon you're gonna say Love is as in the strangest places I Have you been able to get her yet? No, not yet. This is not good. I'll keep trying. This is making me miserable. Miserable. Hello, Felicia. How are you doing? Again, is Mrs. Johnson. Oh, come on. I thought we've gone past all these already. What are you doing here, Mr. Martins? Why are you being this way? Just call me Martins. Again, what are you doing here? I thought I made it clear that I don't want to see you anywhere close to my family. Well, it's our daughter's birthday. And so I decided... Oh, yeah. I drove by and dropped a gift. Our daughter? Of course, Felicia. My late friend's daughter is my daughter by extension. What don't you think? Thank you so much. I'll send a message to her you can leave. Felicia. What's all this? Martins, get out. <laughs> Are you attempting to throw me out of course? Mm. Remember, I am Martins. When I set my eyes on them, <laughs> they never get away. You are not going to be an exception. I am trying so hard to control my temper. Get out now. Get out. Get out. Delicious. Get out. Get out. Okay. Oh, dear, dear. Um, hello, hello everyone. Um, I'm so sorry, you know, um, the celebrant will soon be here, okay? Um, the party has started, so make yourselves comfortable, eat, drink something, all right? Thank you, Just be, feel at home. Thank you. All right.
So, do you reside in Lagos or Abuja? Uh, both. Both? Yeah, I have a house in Abuja and another one here in Lagos. Okay. Yeah, um, I've been in Abuja now for the past three months and today is my birthday. So that's why oh. I'm down here to spend it with my mom. Oh, today's your birthday? Yeah. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. I yeah. had no idea. <laughs> How on earth would you have an idea? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm very sorry that you're spending it this way. Oh, it's fine. You know, the good thing is I always have two glasses and uh, drinks in my car. You mean you run a bar in your car? No. But we can drink while your phone charges. Okay. <laughs> yes, so one for the birthday girl. Thank you. One for me. And let us... Perry magic. What's the Perry? It's a dancing. I candy girl, you sweet like one. Like she make the guy to look like one. Like one. Like one. Make a ball flick like one. Booty bounce on the beat like one. Bounce on the bus like one. Give me, give me more, give me more like one. So what do you do for a living? Mm. I, um, I run a real estate company and we have branches in Lagos and Abuja. Oh, wow. That sounds like money. <laughs> <laughs> so, what about you? What do you do? Well, my dad left a food company. And um, since I'm the only child, I run the businesses. Have you ever heard of Johnson's Food Limited? Don't tell me that's your father's company. Well, I own it now. Whoa, damn, Nana, that sounds like money. <laughs> so let's toast to the big girl. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> okay, did she mention that she had other plans or needed to meet someone up? Did she mention anything? No, no, she didn't mention any of such. Nana, she have a bad feeling about this. Mom, ma, we need to be positive. I, I'm sure she's just maybe stuck in traffic and maybe. her phone is off. Maybe something has happened to Pamela. <laughs> no, I'm sure she's fine. Then where is she? It's been hours since she said she was leaving the airport. How long does it take to get here from the airport, even if there's traffic? Why is she not here? Good evening, Mr. Johnson. Hi, Debbie. Hi, David. David, have you by any chance heard from Pamela? No, I've actually been calling her, but she wasn't picking up. So um, that's why I thought to show up. Any problem? Yes. At first, her phone was switched off. I mean, we tried. It was switched off. Now, I don't know. We can't get across to her. I don't understand. She called and said she was at the airport. Now, how long does it take to get here from the airport? It's been hours. Where could she be? Let me try. Let me try outside. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> so tell me, are you in a relationship? Relationship? Oh my goodness. You don't know what they say about me, right? Oh no. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell me that you are one of those women who believe all men are scum. Are they not? <laughs> <laughs> Just because you dated three or four guys doesn't mean every guy is a scumbag. <laughs> you haven't dated all guys, and definitely you haven't dated me. You know what? Actually, I have dated just one guy. Really? Mm-hmm. <sighs> Expect me to believe that? Look, I know you will not believe it, but it's the truth, okay? Okay, so... I dated this guy my first year of school. We dated for about, what, six years. And then he fell out of love. Just like that? You see, the thing is, um, he impregnated a lady five years into our relationship. And I had no idea about it. And, you know, later on, as time went by, he got so invested emotionally with the lady and his baby. 
And then he grew apart from me. And when I eventually found out, I confronted him and all he could say was he wanted to break up. Wow. Yeah. Um, wait, I think I need to go for it, right? All right. Yeah. So, has anyone ever told you, are you beautiful? <laughs> well, a couple of times. Just in case you never believed them, here's me confirming it to you. You are beautiful. Thank you. Pamela deceived me again. Made me go through all this as she turned off her phone. Oh no, I don't think that's the case. You remember when I'm, we're in the middle of a conversation before her phone went off? Okay, well, where is she? Where is she? I mean, how do you explain that one time the phone was off and now it's on, she won't take her calls? She's doing this deliberately. No, no, I, I, I don't think so. She's probably... So, let me send her a text. Oh. Goodness! Yeah, what was that? Which one? 22 missed calls from my mother and my friend. Oh my okay. god, this is so messed up. I need to leave right now. Okay, um. Yeah, I, I, I'll drop you off. Um, no, 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 no. Not when you're dead drunk. Oh. Uh, that's okay. I, 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 I'm, not, I'm not that drunk. I'm okay. Uh uh, no. Listen, I am not taking that chance. Okay. <sighs> oh. Oh. Oh my god, she's calling. Hello? Hello, um, Debbie. We've been worried about you. Where, where are you? Wait, um, Debbie. I thought you said you are in Port Harcourt. Yeah, yeah, I said that. I wanted to surprise you, but you knew it. Where are you right now? Everyone is worried. God, it's... Listen, girl, it's such, it's such a long story. You know what? I'm just going to um I'm going to book a ride and meet you guys shortly, okay? No, 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 no. Tell me exactly where you are right now. And I'll come pick you up immediately. Um, okay, um, you know, okay, um, I will I will send you the, the location right now. Do that do that immediately. Okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Bye. I will be I'll be back, excuse me. I'll drop you, I can drop you off. Let me come with you. No, 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 it's fine. I, I got this. I, 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 right. it's, it's, it's okay. <sighs> Consider. Thank you. I'm sorry.
What happened? This is for me. Answer the damn question. What happened? Where were you? Why were you not taking your calls? Mom, I think you should let her rest. She's a little tipsy. Tipsy? What? Tipsy? Okay, why am I not surprised? You are tipsy. That means you went drinking. Stood me up the whole day. Look at what I did. I just wanted to celebrate my daughter and this is what I get. Mommy, please just calm down. It's, it's not what you think. It's not what I think. Oh, when you stood everyone up. Oh, when everybody's gone, party is over. You stood everybody up. Mommy, I I'm sorry, okay? I did not know there were guests. I did not know there was a party. Well, now that you know, go upstairs, freshen up, and wake up tomorrow morning. We'll have to talk. What's the little surprise? You don't go to the lines. All the time. Debbie, where did you find her? Was she with someone? Debbie, you don't give up, do you? Just answer the question. So what? What if she was with someone? Why does that bother you? That is the woman I want to spend the rest of my life with. Okay, of course it's going to bother me. Is this what obsession looks like? Because Paula doesn't like you. She barely thinks about you. How else do you want her to convey that message to you? Well, I'm not going to give up. Okay, because that is who I want and I go for what I want. Awesome. Good luck with that. You. When I just came in, I saw bags and I showed my TV and I was like, who's in my house? Oh. You didn't tell me you were coming today. I have an extra queue, remember? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know, I know. How are you? Oh my God. I missed you, baby. You're so beautiful. Oh. I know, right? <laughs> you know, I was hoping to see you when I got in, but you're wearing home. Was your flight delayed or something? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Business. Oh. Business. Uh, Business at yeah. the airport. Yeah. <laughs> you know what it is. I know. Yeah. Yeah. I miss you, doll. I miss you I miss so much. You. Come here. Come here. Come here. Mm -hmm. I miss you too. You look so beautiful. Wow. Turn around. Turn around for me, baby. Woo! Woo! Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I like what I see. Okay, you know, um, I have missed you, and I can't wait for you to eat me up like you always do. You know you're my favorite snack, right? I know. Should we just do it here? No, let's go inside. Are you sure? I think we should do it here. No. <laughs> All right. Whoa. I really missed you, doll. I bought a lot of things for you, you know. For real? Yeah. <laughs> so, your bag was swapped with his at the airport? And then your battery went off. And then you went into his car to charge your phone. You guys had a conversation. Shared a few drinks and slept off. <laughs> that doesn't add up. Look, Debbie, I don't know what in the name of mathematics is going on in your head. But that is what happened.
So, has anyone ever told you, are you beautiful? <laughs> well, a couple of times. Just in case you never believe them. Here's me confirming it to you. You are beautiful. Thank you. that you have a series of questions to ask me but please can we just skip it and act like nothing happened okay now when mr martins was here yesterday he dropped by to give you a present mr martins mm -hmm. I thought you made it clear that you do not appreciate him coming in and out of our house. That man is a desperate man. Uh, I happen to be wise enough to know how to handle him. I know exactly what he wants. I cannot stand that man. Gosh. But enough of Mr. Martins. Let's talk about David. Oh. Mommy, what about David are we talking about? That man loves you, and it's very obvious. Or he loves the fact that I am the only daughter of my late father who left a good fortune of wealth behind. He's only after that wealth, and getting married to me is the short ticket. I don't think that's the case. You see the way he looks at you. He has love in his eyes. And my eyes? Do you see love in them? I mean, I don't love David. So who do you love? Look, Pamela, you're 25. I know he's not too old to be unmarried, but we need to grow this family. And the only way we can do that is by you getting married and giving me grandkids. Okay, mommy, you know what? I will get married and give you grandkids. Happy now? I guess. Mommy. What? I'm sorry, no, cheer up. I'm sorry about what happened. Sorry. It's not out of your life. Mommy, sorry, no. I'm sorry. It wasn't intentional. Sorry. What kind of drink did you drink exactly? <laughs> Is Lawrence home? Uh, yeah, he... Tell him I'm here. Oh. <laughs> My man, Lawrence. How you doing, bro? I'm good. Mm -mm. How you doing? See how fresh you're looking. <laughs> so, how was your trip to Abuja? Yeah, it was it was it was good, but um, it got more interesting when I got to Lagos. How? Um, I mistakenly swapped similar boxes. What? So mine and some other lady. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, I don't know how she got my contact, but she came to take her box and she left. Ah. Her name is Pamela. Uh, that day happened to be her birthday and we had drinks in my car. Ah. 
<laughs> now, this uh, sounds like the beginning of a love story. No, it's not a love story. I'm, I'm very serious. It's real. I know it's not something that always happens, but it's, it's real. Okay, so you guys talked and shared a drink. What happened next? Well, I don't usually kiss and tell, mm. but we kissed, and now I'm telling you. Hey! My man, Lawrence! <laughs> You see you, eh? You. <laughs> That's my man. Eh, hey, hey. now you're talking. I, I hope you got her number. Well, yes, I have a contact. Uh, she called me that day to come and take her luggage. Mm. Korean man. Korean man. Well, you, I hope you've given her a call back as well. No, I'm not calling her. Why should I call? I have a girlfriend. Leave that thing, guy. Leave that thing. See, let me, let me, let me tell you. Let me warn you. Hear me well, oh. Don't let your babe stop you from meeting your future wife material. Sure, you hear me? Okay. See, I'm telling you, there are some girls that are just complete girlfriend materials, yeah? But there are some girls that are proper wife material. I'm telling you, I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> okay, Dr. Love, I will call her just to check on her. Uh -huh. Better, you know, check up on her, take her out on the dates, <laughs> get into a relationship. Just to check up on her. Get married. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Yes, uh, please, may I speak to Pamela? Who be Pamela? You call my phone, you tell me say you won't follow Pamela at all. Uh, who am I talking to, please? Come, my name is Sunday, and I'll be cab driver. She na Pamela, you won't follow talk, I'll be your own book ride. Uh, what's wrong? What's the matter? Um, apparently, the number I thought I had. It's the cab driver's number that brought her to collect her stuff. Ah, oh, shit. I just remembered that she had a low battery. Oh. So I don't have a number. Damn. So there is no love story, no wife material. <sighs> Olivia for life. Woohoo! <laughs> what are you L gonna drink? Lawrence. <laughs> what are you gonna drink? <laughs> you did. I don't want. I Felicia, Felicia. Mr. Martins, what are you doing here? <laughs> How are you, my love? You look very beautiful each time I set my eyes on you. Hmm? What <laughs> are you doing here, Mr. Martins? Ah. What kind of a question is that? To see you, of course. Where else should I be here? I mean, who let you in? I knocked. I had no one responded. And you walked in? The door wasn't locked. So that gave you the right to badge into my house. Felicia, why are you acting like this? It is Mrs. Johnson. Mrs. Johnson. Oh. <laughs> I see. <clears throat> Thanks for the correction. But why are you behaving like this? As if I'm a stranger. Oh, have you forgotten so soon how your late husband, my bosom friend, how we used to have lavish family dinners <laughs> in no, this house? I didn't forget. I probably didn't forget that your wife used to be at those dinners. <laughs> Felicia, you mean my ex-wife? Oh, that woman couldn't give me a baby. Not one after all the years we were married. Well, huh? now that she left you, she has a child. But you, Mr. Martins, were sleeping with anything that moves, yet they couldn't give you a child. Ah. Is something wrong with all those women? Felicia, you know way too much for your own good. Huh? Anyway, so now that I am a man without a wife, and you <laughs> are a woman without a husband, and you have a daughter, isn't it time we put our heads together and make sense out of this whole puzzle? No. <laughs> no sense can come from your head. Felicia. Felicia, I'm really thinking that you need a man. Listen, Pamela, my dear Pamela, needs a father figure. We are doing just fine. <laughs> that is what you think. Come on, my dear. But you are not. It is spiritually and morally wrong for you and Pamela, just two women, to be controlling all the mega fortunes that my late friends left behind. Huh? You need a man. 
a man to love you, Felicia. A man to cherish all your you Enough! A... Get out of my house. Felicia, you know are I've you been, joking? You know I've been respecting you, but I don't think you deserve any respect from me. If you know what is good for you, Mr. Martins, use the door now. Calm down, Felicia. You... Get out. Why are you being so aggressive about it? I am trying to... Get out! Get out. Just think about what I have told you. Get out. Jesus Christ, how can somebody be so dumb? How was... How? You've been single for the longest time and I'm sure you don't sleep with random guys. So what is this you're holding, Pamela? I am finished. <gasps> How are you pregnant? Is this like an immaculate conception or what? This has got nothing to do with immaculate conception. Stop, what is it about? This is as a result of me having sex. With who? The guy I told you about. Oh, the traveling box guy. Oh, you said you two just had to. That is not the complete story. Oh, ah. We had drinks, got drunk, and started kissing, and then it went beyond that. Though. I mean, that is not the point. I know, but I just can't help but say it. I, I just never thought my best friend was such a bomb there. You're still not getting the point, Debbie. Girl, I know. The point is, you have fallen pregnant for a stranger whom you had sex with. Okay. I'm, I'm really confused on what to say here. Like, I, I don't even know what to think. Oh, how is this happening? Like, Maybe we should call the guy. Talk to him and see what he says first. I don't have his number. What? I don't have his number. My phone was off and I had to call him using the cab driver's phone. Aha! <laughs> hey, God! Okay. What are you looking for now? My boarding pass. I'm giving my boarding pass. I'll call the, the airport manager and, and get his contact from him. Um. Hello? Hello? Hello, um, it's me, Pamela Johnson. Do you remember me? I'm sorry, but I work with hundreds of names every day, so I don't remember you. Um, yeah, um, I called you a few weeks ago regarding some um, uh, two swapped traveling boxes and you gave me the guy's contact. Oh, oh, yeah. I think I know you now. Oh, good, thank God, please. Um, I was just wondering, could you please Give me the guy's contact again, please. Excuse me? 
What did you two swap this time around? Look, what we swapped this time around is something much more important than the traveling boxes, please. And was this thing in question swapped in the airport premises? No, please. Then I guess this has nothing to do with me. So, young lady, do have a nice day. Please, please, please don't hang up, don't hang up, please, please. Please, this is life and death. Please, you really, really need to help me. Look, granted, I know it is against airline policy to give me a passenger's contact details. Please, but can you just please help me? Please, please, I really need your help, please. <sighs> What's his name again? Lawrence Okeke. And the flight? Um, BA2490. Okay. I will send his number to you this time, for the last time. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'll be waiting. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, wait a second. Oh, God. Why are you looking at me like that? I don't know. I can't stop looking at you. Maybe I want to continue to look at you for the rest of my life. You know, waking up in the morning, staring at your beautiful eyes, lovely smile. Did I talk about your beautiful lips? <laughs> you flatter me a lot. And I like it. I know. <laughs> but you know, I'm very lucky to have you, right? I'm absolutely so lucky to have you. I've met tons of men. But you're the best of all. Wow. And I'm so lucky to have you. <laughs> Let me reward you. Come here. You no. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Lawrence. It's me, Pamela. Uh, hello. Uh, can you hear me? Hello? Um, hello, can, I can't hear you. Hi. Pamela, how are you doing? I have been trying to reach you. I even called that number that you uh, called me on the last time, but it's the cabman's number. How are you? Lawrence, please, we need to see. Ooh, yeah. Looks like somebody missed me <laughs> because you sound so serious. <laughs> that is because it is something very serious. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, Maybe, I don't know, when do you want us to see? Um, probably today. Uh, no, today cannot work. How about tomorrow? Tomorrow is perfect and I could send you the address. O okay, okay, that's fine. Fine. Okay then. So good to hear your voice again. All right, take care. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. I, I think you should also go to a hospital, do a proper test, so you can have a report to show him. Yeah. Yeah. God, I cannot believe this is happening. Oh my God. What is this? 
I said, what is this? Everything you need to know is stated right there in that report. Oh no, I just see your name and a positive pregnancy test. So what's difficult? What's confusing there? Can't you read? Oh, I can read and uh, just that the name of who was responsible is insuring. Did you see it? Uh, hold on, hold on. Is this some type of joke? It's obviously a joke to you. I mean, we had a one-time thing and you think you can just show up at my door and say, Hey, I'm pregnant. Who does that? So what are you insinuating? I am sick. Hey, that... don't even try to deny this pregnancy, okay? Because I know my friend too well and when she met you, she wasn't seeing anyone. So you are 100% responsible for this pregnancy. What I don't understand is why didn't you tell the doctor you wanted to get rid of it when he gave you this test result? How dare you! Don't do that again. Now listen to me. I will not accept this baby. And if you want to keep the baby, be ready to bear full responsibility. Oh, is this who you opened your legs for? This. I was drunk. If I wasn't drunk, there is no way in hell I would have even kissed him in the first place. <laughs> I know your type. You go out, you drink, you have fun, and have sex, and then you blame it on alcohol. Now listen, both of you, the truth is bitter. But the truth of the matter is, I have a relationship, and I'm about to get married. You know, and I don't want you to come and, you know, start peeing the baby on me. I mean, don't do that. I won't take this nonsense. Do you understand me? Um, hi there. Uh, honey, uh, how you doing? Uh, there's, there's no point. Honey, how are you? How was your day? Uh, um, babe, um, just give that back, okay? Lawrence, what is this? Honey, um, look. What is this? Yeah, what I'm trying to say is, um, you don't you don't need to. Don't worry about what you see in that paper. It's two ladies in your house and a pregnancy test result, and you tell me it's nothing for me to be worried about. Uh, oh, is this what I think it is? No, 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 no. It's not what you think it is. I'm taking care of it. Okay, Olivia. Wait, Olivia, wait, wait, babe. Honey, wait. <laughs> you see what you've cost? Now, all you have to do is get out of my house. Now. Your final say. Are you taking responsibility or not? No! I'm not accepting it. Get out. Of course, you should leave. Get out. Did you say how? Out! This one how? Get out. Sheep girls. Listen, Pamela, there are two options here. It's either you become a big mama, open up to your mom and just take the whole I am disappointed in you speech with a pinch of salt. Or you get rid of this pregnancy and live your life like nothing happened. I don't want to be a baby mama. I don't want to kill my baby. So what then? Maybe I should just get into a relationship with someone and have sex with him and then I pin this on him. Even if you want to do that, you're two months gone already. Well, there is something like early delivery. I'm 
So, who then? David? Yeah, he... He's the easiest option. The lady I told you about, Pamela. Can you tell me you slept with her? Well, now that she's pregnant, you already know. Flores, you're a bad guy. So you have sex in that car. Oh, that was one of my biggest fantasy. Having sex in a car parked by the road. Frank, Frank, just, just, just stop. You can't be talking about your sexual fantasies right now. I'm in deep shit, like I'm in a problem and I don't know what to do about it. Is that a problem? Are you not old enough to be a father? That's exactly the problem. I'm old enough to be the father of a child to the woman that I love and not to some random stranger that I met on the road. By the way, Olivia has found out about it and she's not taking my calls. What are you talking about? She's my girlfriend. And she has the right to be angry. See, I am on my way to work. We will talk about this later. Anyways, congratulations. There you go. So, Lawrence, a woman is carrying your baby. What are you going to do about it? I, I, I told her that I have a girlfriend and that she, I don't want the baby and that she should get rid of it. And has she done that? Well, I believe so because she hasn't called me back since then. Oh, very good. Do you think I was going to leave you? Where? Where would I ever find a man that is going to satisfy me? Bed like you do. Oh. Oh. You smell so good. I know when you're not taking a shower. Let's go take a shower and then you apologize to me in bed. Hi, baby. Hey, girl. What's up? What are you doing? Okay. Come to bed. No. I have strength for one more round. Not <laughs> Olivia! Olivia! What is this? Is this what I think it is? Lawrence, don't tell me that you went through my back. You haven't answered my question. Mm, fine! It is what you think it is. Uh, so what? So you mean every time we make love, you use a contraceptive? <laughs> what was I supposed to do? I'm your boyfriend. Am I supposed to sit and watch you get me pregnant? I'm your boyfriend. I'm not my husband. Have you by any chance gotten pregnant and taken it out? Why are you asking these questions? Well, 
If you must know. Not once. Not twice. Why? Why? Why what, Lawrence? I do not want to have a child outside wedlock. Couldn't you have at least discussed it with me? Discuss what with you? So you, you, you stop me from, uh, from getting rid of the baby and then turn me into your baby mother. <laughs> That's not going to happen. How do you know I just want to make you my baby mama? Because you do not look serious. Lawrence, you've never looked serious to me and you don't even look like you're ready to settle down. Well, the case might have been different if you're taking the bold step. Don't go through my stuff again. <laughs> okay, presentation is nine over ten. Oh, okay. Smells so good. <laughs> Well, you know what? I want you to have a taste and see that your girl is the best cook. Mm. Alright. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's find out. <laughs> Let us investigate. <laughs> you like it? I love it. I told you. Impressive. <laughs> oh, thank you. Mm. <laughs> so what are you feeling like now? An all rounder. <laughs> Beautiful, intelligent, smart, decent, and a good cook. Well, there is one other thing. What's that? I'll show you some. Can you stop? Can you stop? You just come. This is Johnson. Hello, oh, beautiful <laughs> people. Hello, David. How's it going? Fine. This looks good. Very tasty. Oh. Very nice. Thank Ooh. You. <laughs> Mommy, you ready to eat? Yes, I am. Okay. Let me get you. Oh, let me start with this. <clears throat> this one. You really taught her well. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, Mommy. Mm-mm. Nice. Mm -hmm. David? David! Where are you going? Um, yeah, Debs. I don't know. I don't know, maybe went downstairs. Listen, like I was just seeing you before. It's actually not bad in bed. Mm-hmm, yeah. I'm worried. I don't know if this thing is going to work. Well, I guess I'll be optimistic. Okay, all right. I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. Hey, man. Hey. Remind me, what was that thing you said again? I said that I, I want to settle down. Mm -mm. The other one? I said I want to propose to Olivia. <laughs> That's so funny. Ah, to who? Olivia, my girlfriend. I would have loved to join you in the joke, but I don't get what the joke is. See, my guy, I don't understand. What's wrong with you now? Eh? First, we'll be saying everybody they chop their own clean mouth to reach your tongue. You want to put them for house? Look, this way belongs to the streets. You won't cage them in the name of marriage. What's, are, you, are you mad? Bro, what are you talking about? Olivia, a national cake now. You don't know. Are we talking about my Olivia here? No, no, leave that soldier. Leave an don't sabi all the way back from my school days. Yes? And I can confirm with you that she's a confirmed house babe. Confirm one! Enough! Just, 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 just hold it right there. Listen, I know you don't like her, but that's not enough reason to badmouth her. I'm talking facts here. You are talking about badmouthing. Which one is badmouthing again? Eh? Look, so I have a doctor friend here yeah, that Olivia used to patronize back in the days. And I can confirm with you that 
He has done several abortions for her. What? Oh yes. As of then, there was even this time that I had to go to Abuja for a business trip. And later on that night, I needed a girl to spend the night with me. So, I reached out to a pig. And guess who he sent to my door? Yes, you guessed right. Why do you think she's always uncomfortable whenever I'm around? Or should I even talk about the countless times that she's approached me to tell you nothing about what's gone down? And you said nothing. You're supposed to be my friend. But, Lawrence, how was I supposed to know that you were taking this girl serious? I thought we were just having your own share of the national cake. That's not true, bro. Every time I say Olivia is my girlfriend, my girlfriend, you know these things that you should tell your guy. That's what guys do. You, you know what? I don't believe you. Lawrence. I don't believe you. Okay, okay, it's fine. It's, it's fine if you don't believe me, it's fine. But, okay. Just make sure you make your proper findings before you end up taking a step that you regret. Lawrence, you should give me another chance. I forgave you when you got there. That other woman pregnant. Lawrence. Okay, fine. I will do anything you want me to do. I will change. I will become a better woman. I will just do anything you want me to do. Just don't throw everything we have away. Drop this, Becky. I don't want to ever see you in this compound again. Get out of my life. So, now that Olivia is out, will the other lady come in? What other lady? 
the one carrying your child. You know what? I think she's gotten rid of the child. And she told you that? No, she didn't. But I mean, she hasn't called me since, since that time. She would have gotten rid of it. Did you even try to reach out to her? No. Well, you know how it was now. I was trying to just take everything off my mind. The whole sex thing with the girl, the, the, the baby, the pregnancy, everything. You know, I had a serious relationship and I was in love with Olivia. You know it. But little did I know that I was protecting what I should have just thrown in the bin. Lawrence, um, that lady did not get pregnant on her own. You should have taken full responsibility. Yeah, I know. I, I messed up. Oh yes, you did. Big time. Big time. Your own very girlfriend. She did everything possible to prevent any kind of pregnancy. But this girl, this very girl that you just had a one-time thing with, she took the time and effort just to locate you, to inform you about this baby. <laughs> that, that says a lot about her. And I really feel bad for her, to be honest. Why are you trying to make me feel bad now? You should. You should feel bad because... <laughs> you should. You need to calm down. How can I calm down? This is the calmest I can be. I mean, I cannot believe that just a few minutes of some, some pleasure has landed me in such a great mess. You didn't sound like it was a few minutes. Seemed like you really enjoyed it. Well, yeah, I did enjoy it. I mean, it was the best sex I ever had. But then see what this best sex has landed me into. I know. Mr. Martins is blackmailing me. That old man is so shameless, annoying, and desperate. Jeez! I, I, what, what if he tells my mom? What, what, what if he tells David? What if... Lawrence. Lawrence. Why is he calling me? Well, you wouldn't know if you don't pick it. Pick it up. Hello? Bring the loudspeaker. Um, hello? Pamela. It's me, Lawrence. What do you want? Uh, I, um, Pamela, I know that you don't want to talk to me and, um, uh, but please, I have to talk to you. Look, I have nothing to discuss with you. I know that you're angry with me and, and your anger is justified. But please hear me out, okay? Please. Oh, so now you want to talk? Okay, wait, 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 wait Pamela. Um, uh, I just want to know. Um, what did you do with the baby? Did you did you get rid of the baby? Did you keep the baby? What what did you do with the baby? And who is asking? Lawrence, Lawrence, the the, the man responsible for 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 your child. You know, you are a stupid, fat, big joker. You are such a big joke. Wait, uh, Pam, Pamela? Is the audacity for me? Can you imagine? The voice? I don't even blame him. him. Huh. Wow. But, <laughs> come to think of it, how do you think that test result got to Mr. Martins? Yeah, like... How did it go from my drawer to Mr. Martin's? Who else got into your room? Aside you, it's just David. David? Hey, mommy. 
Hey, sweetie. Um, Mom, there is something I'd like to ask you. Okay, I'm listening. Okay, um, okay, Mommy, is there, um, anything that I would do that would make you disappointed in me? Uh, are you planning on disappointing me? Oh, of course not, Mommy, no, come on. Just, you know. Okay, because I raised you better than that. This is better than not knowing what is good and what is right. Okay, mommy, okay. All right, let us just assume that I, you know, get pregnant, for example, outside wedlock. What would your reaction be? Young lady, are you pregnant? Oh, mommy, no, I am not. Come on. Come on. I'm not. <sighs> Because, I mean, you, you should know better. Why would, you even, why would you even assume that? Come on, mommy. No, you can't be pregnant. Why would you assume that you, you can be pregnant without being married? No, don't make such silly mistakes. You want to join the bandwagon of baby mamas. That's not what we do in this family. All right? You, you, get, you get married. You have a child. Not you have a child, you start looking for your husband. No. That's not how I gave birth to you. Mommy, come on. You're taking this thing too far. Come on. Yes. Just, I was just trying to bounce things I have, off you. Don't bounce on me. I'm not I'm not your age mate. Okay. I take this thing serious. No, don't do that. Okay, mommy. You, you want to get pregnant. No. We yeah. have, there's a way things are. Okay, mommy. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's okay. Hold on, young lady. Is marriage, then children. Marriage before pregnancy. Did I make my point clear? Yes, ma'am. But do you have anything else to say? No. That's that was it. That's it. Okay, I hope I made my point. Please don't get pregnant. I think you should give her a call again. Bro. That girl doesn't want to talk to me. If she still has my baby, she would have been like excited to talk to me or, you know, at least be willing to, but the reverse was the case. Didn't you say she's the daughter of the late Johnson? Huh. That girl has a lot of money. She has so much money. She doesn't need any man to help her raise a child. Informing you was just her fulfilling all righteousness. You messed up. You messed up big time, bro. Big time. I think you should talk to him. Who? The Lawrence guy. If he calls again, talk to him. Why? He's the father. Baby, that guy really called me. You were there. You need to see the way I insulted her. I was so rude. I know. He was rude. He said I'm one of those girls who just sleep around and then blame it on alcohol. I was just so stupid to have said those words. Debbie, you know me. I have dated just one guy all my life. Yeah. I feel it, I feel it in my heart that she's from a decent home, that, that she's a good woman. I call it destiny, and the hands of time can't be turned back. So this is how one traveling box swap threw me into this deep mess? I wish it didn't happen. But it did. I mean, What's important now is how you handle everything going forward. I don't know about that. But then there is David in the picture. First, you know why David is in the picture. 
second i have a bad feeling about david do you think he saw the test result yeah he was literally the only one that got into your room wait but if he saw it he would have confronted me i mean even if he did see it then how did he get to mr martin's Hmm. I think that's something we need to find out. How? Call David. Tell him to come for dinner at your place today. Just do it. Call him. I always look forward to it, Jennifer. It tastes so good. Hmm. Are you enjoying it? Maybe you know I am. I can never get tired of telling you how much of a good cook you are. I'm glad you're enjoying your last supper. <laughs> I thought you said last supper. Yeah, that's what I said. Last supper. What's she talking about? Exactly what she's saying. Babe, what's going on? What's happening? That plate of food you're eating? Is poisoned. <laughs> this is a joke. <coughs> wow. What do you mean by poisoned? Yeah. This one. Poisoned. Why, why would you why why? Why would you why why would you poison my food? Listen, you have 10 minutes before the poison starts to do its work in your body. Why? Why, 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 why would you poison me? Relax, okay? We have the antidote. Sit down. So we're going to be asking you questions. What? Right? Yeah. So you better tell us the truth right away. Because the more time you waste, the lesser time you have. <coughs> Get it? Tell you anything, please. Just give me the answers, up, please. That day you were in my room. What did you see? And what did you take? After we made out, you went to the bathroom and I was just looking around. Evan! David? David! And I opened the drawer. And what did you do with this? Give it to Mr. Martin, okay? Please, can I have the antidote? Please, let me. Please. How do you know Mr. Martin's? I've worked for him for years, okay? I've known him for years, but. Years? Look, me, me, me being here, me coming home to you, everything was his idea, okay? Tell me the truth, please. What? Yes. I have a job for you. So I'm always loyal. Good. You remember my late friend, Johnson? Yeah, Mr. Johnson, yes. You know his daughter, Pamela? I've heard of her, but not personally, no. Okay, good. Now, here's the thing. 
my late friend left Pamela and his mother, Felicia, a lot of fortune. Hmm? Okay. And David, I want to get my hand on that fortune. And the only way I can do that is by marrying Felicia, my late friend's wife. But she's proving stubborn. And I've been trying my best. Now, I'm also thinking that another way I can get this fortune is by you marrying Pamela. That's why I called you. Yes, Marriage. yes, yes. Get married as a broke man and divorce as a multi-millionaire. Multi-millionaire. <laughs> David, you don't understand. These people have bastard money. That woman is filthy rich. Now you don't worry about anything. I will handle it. I will arrange everything. All you need to do, or all you have to do, is get married to her. Do you understand? When do I start? Never mind. Like I told you, you just prepare yourself. I will organize everything. Do you understand? Do you have any questions? No. I trust you. I trust you so much. Don't worry. If we get our hands on this fortune, I guarantee you, your generations, your 40th generations, will have no need to worry about money. <laughs> Look, I agreed to do it, okay? I was reluctant, but I agreed to do it. I accepted my proposal because I was always so relentless. And I told you, we're planning to get you engaged. Okay, but then I found that stuff and I didn't want to get caught up in any baby drama because I knew the child wasn't mine. I told Mr. Barton that he should take care of it. I told you everything, please. Listen, you better get up and get out of here. Or I will do something that you're going to live to regret. I'll go, please. Oh, please, give me the answer to it. Uncle, get out. There's no poison in your food. Wait, there's no poison. Get out! about this guy and Mr. Martin. You can never really know people, I swear. What? Human beings. Man, guess who's getting stood up? Me. She's not here. Okay. I guess I'll just wait. Welcome. Um, hi. Uh, please sit down. Um, hi. Hi. I didn't know you were going to come. But here I am. Yeah. Um, um, I asked you to come because I want to apologize for being a jerk and for everything I did to you. I, I was wrong and I don't know why I did what I did, but I was wrong. You know, I'm actually quite curious to know why this thing always happened. You have two adults. A guy and a lady. They have unprotected sex. And when this leads to pregnancy, the man all of a sudden just 
feels that the lady is responsible for everything. And then you start hearing things like, I am not ready to be a father. You have to abort the baby or you bear the responsibilities alone. I'm not ready to have a child with you and so on. <laughs> but I want to ask you, when you were having unprotected sex with the lady, what did you think was going to happen? Or because you think you're not the one carrying the baby, so the lady has to bear the responsibility alone? You're right. I was wrong. I'm ready to make it up to you. Ready to be a responsibility. I just want to know one thing. Did you abort the baby? Listen, Pamela. There are two options here. It's either you become a baby mama, open up to your mom and just take the whole I am disappointed in you speech with a pinch of salt. You get rid of this pregnancy and live your life like nothing happened. I don't want to be a baby mama. I don't want to kill my baby. So what then? Maybe I should just get into a relationship with someone and have sex with him and then I pin this on him. <laughs> Even if you want to do that, your two months gone already. Well, there is something like early delivery. So, who then? David? Yeah, he, he's the easiest option. I kept the baby. Uh, okay, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> I, I, I'm grateful. I did not do I know why. But I'm still grateful. Thank you for, for keeping the child. And I promise not to be a deadbeat father. I need to see how that goes. So, um, friends? <laughs> Can I get you a drink? Because this wouldn't have happened under my watch. But no, <laughs> you know too much. Hmm? I need to come in. Felicia, you need to give me a chance to assert my masculine authority, to take over and stave nonsense like this. You need it. This home needs it. Tell me this is a lie. Mommy. Mommy. Mommy, I am. I am sorry. Sorry? You've known this for the past two months and you kept it from me? We sleep and wake up in this house together. You can keep something just huge away from me. Mommy, I... Mommy, I knew that no matter how I presented it to you, you would be so disappointed in me. So of course I'm disappointed in you. But I'm your mother. What would I have done? Throw you out? You should have opened up to me. Rather than give our enemies an opportunity to mock us. Don't you know people are waiting for a downfall in this family? 
Felicia, wait. I hope I am not the one that you are by any means referring to here as the enemy. Because all I am trying to do here is look out for my late friend's family. Nothing more. No strings attached. You need a man. I need to come in. Mr. Martins, have you told Mrs. Johnson how you are after her late husband's properties? Or how you set Pamela up with David? Oh, 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 so what's she talking about? Me? Late husband's friend? Felicia, where did she get that from? Where did you get that from? Eh? Me, Martins? Set up what? Oh no, this is driving me crazy. Do you know what you're talking about? Listen, there is no need for me to stay here and be insulted by little girls making baseless allegations on my person. Think I am out of here. Get out. Get out. No. Nonsense. Nonsense. Get out. You Get out. I'm not the dog for you. Come here. Come here. <laughs> I'm gonna catch you. No, don't do this. I am gonna catch you. Lawrence, leave me alone. I'm here to catch you. Stop! Stop! Stop it! Mm. <laughs> you just behave like a secondary school kid. Mm. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> okay, let's stop. Ah, God, Lawrence! Woo! My back. Sorry. You alright? Mm -hmm. You know, I wish this baby could look just like you. <laughs> you know that babies are not that loyal, right? Look, a woman carries a child for nine good months and usually come out looking just like their father. <laughs> they betray you, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you know what? I don't mind though. Because I am certain that my baby will come out looking very cute. Just like me? Just like you. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I'm watching you. I don't need to your eye. <laughs> Close up. Look at you, stop it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Have so I pretty. ever told you how amazing your smile is? And did I talk about your eyes? Very, very sexy. Oh, Good Lawrence. looking. And it is those eyes and this wonderful smile that got us to where we are today. <laughs> Do you regret it? Hell no. In fact, let's swap boxes again so that we can meet again and start again. We are not serious. <laughs> we are not serious. I feel it. It's a girl. It's definitely a girl. How do you know? It is a girl. Let's just forget about it. It's a girl. Are you serious right now? It's a girl. I don't want to go into the boy. Johnson, will you marry me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yes. Oh. 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 Oh.
love from north to south. And my rhyme suits it, it will wear you out. But if you look you well, it will shock you how.